We just got done. So rolls like a champ. Oh. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Now you guys may be wondering, Ryan, why do you have a neck pillow on? And well, the reason for that is actually because my neck has been hurting a little bit lately. Now, all jokes aside, I'm actually gonna be cutting up this neck pillow I got from my ex-girlfriend back in like literally seventh grade. I've just had this chillin'. I used to wear this thing all the time when I was dating her. Wait, wait, was it seventh grade? It becomes a blur after a while, but anyways, I've had this neck pillow just chilling in the back of my closet for such a long time. And today I was like cleaning out my closet and uh, I saw this thing. I that saw its curve, I saw its arc, and I'm like, you know what, it's got darn near perfect. So if you guys couldn't tell from the title and thumbnail, you guys, well, you might be blind. And then second of all, we are going to be putting a uh, pillow on my BMX wheel. Better yet, we are going to be making a BMX tire tube thing from this pillow. So without further ado, let's get started with this and uh, tear off my wheel. I've never been to Las Vegas, but every single time I take the air out of an old tube, I pictured that's what Vegas must smell like. Straight, disgusting, foul, gross, vile. So I want this to be 100% the pillow. I want the only thing to be touching the ground is this pillow right here. So what we're going to do to do this is, uh, first of all, take this casing off because we don't need that. So to do this really quickly, all we're going to do is we're going to cut the neck pillow in four. So we're gonna cut it in half and then we're gonna cut it again. And hopefully that's enough to fill the entire rim. And uh, hopefully it has a little bit extra so we can uh, do the back wheel as well. But like I said, I want this to be 100% the original pillow we used. So we are also going to be cutting up the uh, actual the lining of it right here and uh, cutting into like little thin strips to tie the pillow onto the rim. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting open this contraption right here and uh, see what we can make out of it. But really quickly before I do that, if you guys happen to be new to this channel, then I recommend for you guys to go down below and hit that subscribe button. You guys clicked on this video for a crazy, funny experiment about uh, riding BMX ickles. And long story short, we do a whole lot of those on this channel, so go down below, hit that subscribe button, also hit that notification bell while you're at it to be notified when I post a video like this or any video in general. So without further ado, we're going to try and make our way to cut this pillow with uh, these little scissors right here. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. So first step is done, we got this in half. Now we're going to cut it in uh, another half and it's, it's not really more of a cutting, it's more of a prying that son of a right open. And 10 minutes later, we got all of them done. This actually came out way easier than I thought. As soon as I started cutting, I was like, yeah, these things are not going to cut. And uh, kind of worried me a little bit, but we were able to actually just tear them apart really easily. You think, uh, you think it's gonna work? I think it's gonna be some hard landings. You think it's gonna be hard with the pillows? Yes. P it's memory foam though. Now what if we double layer it? A lot of memory foam. Well, you see? Be, I, I still think we're hitting the rim when, when you try to do a jump. We'll opinion. see. I'm ready to we'll give see. it a shot though. Yeah, I'm giving I'm sending it. So now that's done, the next step is to cut out little ringlets or like little strips out of this. Uh, I don't know what the f this is called, but we're gonna see what we can make happen and uh, send it. All right, we got one done. Now, a lot more. And four and five, so now we can uh, fit these foam pieces on the tire, tie them up, and uh, just go shred. Oh my god, I didn't know Casper was coming out. Anyways, go down below in the comment section, leave a prediction down below. This is up for games, and uh, it's definitely not supposed to work like a regular tire, but I think I think we'll be safe with doing a few tricks. We just got done, and it actually, hold up. How's it look, Will? It looks all right. Looks all right. Was it a memory foam one? Memory foam, 100%. Now it's, t oh, shit. I have to actually tighten up the wheel. That would have been bad. So far, it's, uh, it's definitely touching the rim. We got the wheel and everything on now. It's time to see what everybody says about this contraption right here. What do you think about it? It looks beautiful. Beautiful? Yeah. Kevin? Worth the shot. Luke? Can I do first trick on it? Timothy? Nice. You can go ahead and do first trick. Fuck yeah. Fuck switch yeah. Switch bar fakey. Okay, go ahead. You know, your rim is gonna get hurt from Dude, this. come on, you really think I'm worried about my rim? No. No, no, not a shot. Looks right. like it rolls pretty smooth. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's a <laughs> Jeez. Yo. Ew. It's actually holding up better than I thought. That's shoelace or something? No, dude, that's it. I, dude, I wanted to make it 100% out of pillows. That's all the pillows. 
Yeah, it's holding up pretty good. It's holding. Oh my good, god, dude! Good craftsmanship going on there. Thank you. Not a lot of people appreciate the craftsmanship. Yeah, man. A lot goes into this. A lot goes into this. I don't think it's that soft of a landing. Yeah. Oh no. What happened? She broke. What's the verdict? Ooh, yeah, that's that's doing some damage right there. Yeah. Quick little fix, but we'll figure it out. This rims. Honestly, that's. Oh, dude, are you trying to do something? Oh, oh, dude. All right, we're fixed now. Oh, this one's it. Joe, what did I say? Oh, and it broke. She's, she's seen better days. She's seen 100% better days. So rolls like a champ. What you got on it, Kyle? Or, or we'll be out back. Just falling asleep. Yo. we'll be out back. Yo. Ooh. You're getting up right now. I'm gonna have to take that from you before you hurt yourself. <laughs> You're gonna hurt yourself, I know it. Try to bar fakey. Alright. Ooh, no! That was a bad decision. Alright, I think we gotta send it. We'll do that drop into the bank. How are you feeling about it? Go for it. Just send it. Full right. send. Oh. Oh, she broke. She's done so now. That sounds normal. We're back at the laboratory, and honestly, I don't know whether to count this as a mission success or not. Well. I count this as a missed success. We were able to ride on this for a few minutes. Uh, Kevin actually did a switch bar to fakie, which was absolutely insane. I was like, literally just roll up to the skate park. He said, yo, let me ride it. And I'm like, okay, yeah, sure. And he did a switch bar to fakie, so that was definitely sick. It definitely has seen way better days, I will say that. And I know what you guys are thinking. Do not try this at home, no matter what. This was just for funny experimental purpose. I would not recommend for you guys to do this whatsoever. So with that, we're gonna get this uh, contraption off and we're gonna put on the real wheel and uh, get going with it. And we're just gonna catch a little session, so uh, let's get it. So we got the wheel on all nice and dandy. It didn't take too long. I literally time myself every single time I do it throughout the little camera thing. And it only took me five minutes to take off that contraption and put the wheel on. Trying to beat my record of three minutes. But anyways, we're going to hop into the skate park and catch a little session. So with that, enjoy this little session. It's probably going to be really short because we are uh, running out of delay. But let's get it. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but sound doesn't sound good. I was thinking about this for a long time. I was up all night too, just thinking if I should really commit to this. I've been doing YouTube for the past four years and it's been one hell of a ride, let me just say that. And it's just getting to the point where it's just not even worth it. Well, unfortunately, this is probably gonna be my last video, pretty much ever. Thank you guys for this journey. Thank you for everything you've done for me. So with that, Thank you. Psych, we aren't going anywhere. I uh, actually did not post an April Fool's video. A lot of YouTubers did, and that's the one thing I didn't do. So, so consider that the April Fool's joke from me to you guys for this year. Now, one thing I am for sure feeling is uh, not burnt out. I am feeling all really overworked though. Like I'm overworking myself way too much with these videos. Um, if you guys didn't know, I am a photographer and videographer. My business is Needle Media. That's your boy. If you guys wanna check it out, ryanneedlemedia.com. But I am, a, I am a photographer and videographer specifically for weddings. And it's just like every single weekend for the next two years, I have weddings. So me being able to uh, work around that is kind of difficult with these videos, especially for daily uploads. That's why in the winter I was able to do daily videos because there's no weddings in the winter. But with summer, I have weddings to deal with. I have a whole bunch of editing that goes along with that. Whole bunch of editing with these videos. Like I'm, I'm only one man. 
Definitely a lot of work, but uh, we're making do with what we got. So with that, that's gonna conclude this video. If you guys seem to enjoy this contraption of a wheel, this uh, hysterical video, may I say. Then you guys already know what to do. Go on below, leave a fat like on this video, leave a fat subscribe. Literally the next experiment video, I, I had to do like so much for it. This video was just like kind of throwaway, like throw, okay, I'll do this one day because it was just in my notes somewhere. So the next video, oh my goodness, it's crazy. A lot of people wanted to see this and I want to be the first YouTuber to do it, so this is this is gonna be crazy. This, I'm gonna just say that. So with that, share it with your friends, share the homies, share dog, share the cat, share the friends, hot mom, share it with your neighborhood, Elsa. And with that, that's gonna cap off this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.